age of men is over. The time of the Orc has come. Are you sure about that? Let's prove Kofmok wrong, shall we? Let's get it started. Osgiliath, once the jewel of Gondor, is now but another battlefield in the war between shadow and light. The black forces of Mordor have grown strong. The city of Osgiliath is under siege. Soldiers of Gondor fight valiantly to hold back the enemy, but the bridge guards grow Strengthen ever fewer. Strengthen the bridge garrisons, then cross the river and drive back the enemy. All right, guys. So we need to secure the bridges. Say no more. First of all, we need to put those archers inside the jeans. But my mouse is broken, so it's hard for me to do that. Hopefully, we will be able to manage that. Oh, he was able to break through from this area, which is not the best. We need to take down this catapult as soon as possible. Uh, look at that. Gods of the White Tree, please deal with these trolls. Oh, they are running it down. If they run over the pikes, they're going to also take a lot of damage. We will need to recruit as many archers as we possibly can, but also we will need some sort of resource buildings to keep the resource income good and great. Uh, hold on a second. You guys keep moving and fight against these orcs, and we will need to please this ranger battalion inside one of these towers. Oh, this one has been taken down. Alright, so we need to put this one also in this to secure this bridge. This tower guards, they need to take down this uh, catapult, guys. Now we have some sort of protection, which is really good and also needed. Unfortunately, however, we have no towers here. That means it's going to be kind of tough for us to defend. And we have also only two resource buildings. That means we will definitely, definitely and desperately need more than that. So let's build one more blacksmith. We have 11 minutes. Uh, you know, in 11 minutes, we will be able to call the reinforcements, which is going to be, of course, Faramir, the captain of Dundo. We also need to save enough money to eventually buy this camp at the bottom left side. We have 10 power points collected. That's great. We will get the chance now to call the eagles. Always choose the eagles over the ends. Eagles are just much, much more useful in every single situation. Uh, look at this troll. He doesn't want to die. Come on now. Please go down. Soldiers. Is he going to take down this tower? Yes, he is going to take down this tower. I cannot believe it. Please go down. Holy moly, why are you so tanky? Alright, we have ranges inside this tower. So ranges are hitting a bit harder. Destroy all mortal structures. Say no more. We will need a bit more arches on the field to defend this bridge too. You can't combine guards of the white tree with the arches. That's not possible. We can also use the line formation and build also the last blacksmith inside this camp. Now we can move, you know, each trebuchet, one of them, to the bridges so we have some sort of siege weapons which are gonna also hit multiple units at the we same time the look at them they are trying to go inside the jeans but ready. they won't be able to do that we they also need back. to get the guards of the citadel but we need to get the barracks to level three first which is gonna the cost us a lot of time but it's fine this oh way. we will be losing this one am i right yeah actually they are not oh hold on a second oh man yes yes Rams again? That's annoying. Kill them! Kill them all! The kill them! Kill them all! Gondo calls for eight, and Shut as up. always, as, us as usually, Rohan will Let answer. Rohan. Oh, it's look at this Nazgul! We need to kill this catapult boys. Even if that means we will be losing our Rohirrim, but it's fine. The screech ability is scaring our units. Where is Faramir when we need him? Where is Faramir when we desperately, desperately need him? Hey guys, we will need to get something on the field that can take down this ram. Luckily for us, we were able to destroy his uh, catapults. But we will need to keep those... Say it. Powers also put... Look the damage output. Hitting like an absolute truck, by the way. We are in a good, good spot. We can also use heal on the guards of the white tree to make them a bit tankier. We have almost the money we need to get this camp. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. So. So, only one ranger ar around this area. Once again, it's kind of sad that we have no towers around this bridge. We also lost one of the towers around this side. Oh, Govmok. Look at Govmok, guys. He's crushing us. We need pikemen. 
we need a lot, dude. We need a lot. And this Gothmog is going to be extremely hard to deal with. He's level 7 now. Is He's leading the armies of Mordor to Minas Tirith. Uh, let's kill these archers first. I believe that's going to be the best thing that we can do. This is slowly but surely repairing itself, which is also needed. And we need to build a well for the sustain. Hold on a second. Let's build a well here. And a statue around this area. Keep it down. Keep it down. I'm gonna show you a trick, by the way. Look what's gonna what, what I'm gonna do now. You see this re uh, battalion? Look how they are recovering by just building a well and canceling it. Watch this. Keep a lookout. They're gonna respawn all the time. You see that? <laughs> you know, tips and tricks are also included in this one. Let's get the battalion full. And now we can start building it. One more blacksmith is needed to get the full value. We, we actually need two more. Six is the maximum. And we can start building some farms instead. Oh, now is the time. actually, we are defending Four. ourselves for now. Porcupine formation, bonus damage to calf, but also tankiness to make our units a bit tankier. We are not having enough money, but we are now able to recruit one of the guards of the Citadel. And also, I believe we are not going to be able to recruit these ones because you are only limited to one of these at the same time. The oh, we also lost the towers. I was not paying attention for a single second, and there goes it down. Porcupine formation, please. We guard the white tower. Okay, that's not gonna look good for us, by the way. Kill this. Okay, we were able to defend ourselves for now. Can we group them with each other? Nope, I can't actually combine the soldiers with the rangers. That's pretty random. Normally, you should be able to do that. Guards of the Citadel. They have also the shield ball formation. And the offbound uh, Citadel guards gain 15% speed and 100% resist to knockback, which means they can't be knocked back anymore Make if they are case. using that. 100% means secured, you know, 100% guarantee. Form a wall. So, what we need to do is build a strong army, first of all. Let's get, uh, we are only able to get five of these on the field at the same time. Uh, sounds promising. Let's build farms near. to get even more the money. And now we are also finally able to build the Gondo Marketplace, which is going to boost the resource income from our blacksmiths, but also farms by 15 or 40 percent, depends what you are doing. And let's save for this one to boost the money a bit further. Would be nice. And we have also no settlements around and we lost this bridge, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think that's the enemy. I think that's the enemy. Let us claim this field. Okay, luckily for us, he's not sending any of the... Hold on a second. Luckily for us, he's not sending any of these catapults forward anymore. The second I say that, of course, he's sending them forward. Nice. Not nice. Let's get this. And also banner. Oh, wait, wait a second. I forgot what we need to do first. We need to build the marketplace first. Before anything else, that's gonna give us just a bit more money. Okay, catapults, you defend. Kill them. Uh, nearby structures gain 50% armor. Our rangers here are gonna deal 100% more damage. You need to just click on the building to the check the range. Very important. We are able to defend ourselves for now. Steady now. Guys, you go. Guard the White Tower. Guard the White Tower. Soldiers! Soldiers! Go! Okay. The marketplace is coming up. We need to save the money so we can buy all the upgrades first. The ram is coming in clutch. We will also need some sort of swordsman around this area. Let's get one pikeman. Or never mind. We don't need that. We have towers, towers, tower guards here. We should be fine. Okay. It is a Nazgul. We need to be careful about that. We have not a single tower left on the field anymore. And those uh, trolls are slapping. They are slapping extremely hard. Watch this. 20%. 40% and also we get 50% of the money back every time we lose a building which will eventually happen many many times in this game. Okay, we need to defend this area boys. Yeah, I know, I see that. Relax, I got that. Okay. The iron ore has arrived. Actually, I gotta be honest, uh, these tower guards, uh, the elite ones, are not dealing as much damage as I was expecting them to deal. Please kill these trolls first, dude. Okay, can you kill him? This troll is slapping us. Save level 2. Nice, we saved them. It's only level 1, okay, I take it back. It's not level 2 yet. So let's get this. 
and also uh, fire arrows or the steel tipped arrows which cost you the same money like the fire arrow does but it's way less effective okay the nazgul is not doing anything that's good for us he has double siege works you know what we can do we gotta destroy these siege works guys that's what we have to do and we have now a couple of summons ready to go we can actually summon a lot including the eagles and the eagles can take care of these uh nazgul nazguls i think he's only one i will show you guys the power of the of the eagles okay but first of all let's destroy the siege works i mean we can also call on these units to just finish the job Gondor needs us. Gondor Men needs us. Yeah, Gondor needs you indeed, guys. Gondor. So please make sure to take down this siege tower. I mean, the siege works. Gondor needs us. Gondor Bring needs us. Look how them. many more he has. This guy is literally spamming these units on us. Come on, kill the eagle. We have not much time left. Okay. So let's get all the upgrades first. Before we can, I mean, the, ideally, you want to build an army, a very strong army, until. Oh, we also lost his bridge once again until you call um, Faramir. The Nazgul has been killed! Nazgul has been killed, that's the power of... Ready and waiting, my lord. That's the power of the Eagles, boys. That's why I said Eagles, Eagles, Eagles are in 99% of the situations much, much better than the end summon. Steal yourselves! Steal yourself. Let's kill this catapult, please. Okay. Let's build, get some more rangers on the field. I carry the banner for Gondor. Hey guys, I cannot believe you. Why, why are you letting them pass through you? When they are in the melee range, rangers are able to hit with the swords, by the way. That's why we were able to deal so much damage to this ram. We can just let him go now. It's fine. He won't be able, he's gonna be taken down by the towers. Oh, more units are coming in the meantime. Let's use Cloud Break to stun them for a little bit, at least. And we also need to replace these units. I'm a bit disappointed of the guards of the Citadel. I was expecting a bit more from these. Actually, our units were able to destroy this entire thing. Holy moly, they are doing damage to Another Nazgul? Are you kidding me? Be watchful. Okay, we gotta peel back. Looks like we gotta peel back. The enemy controls the central bridge! I know, I see that. No, don't worry, I got you. Okay, let's get a banner. And let's move on with these units too. Okay, it's not looking great for us, boys. It's not looking great for us. Come, Rangers. Let us scout for Gondor. Run over my pikemen, please. Don't be scared. You are the guards of the White Tree. Why are you scared of a troll? You was being trained all your life. Just to be scared like that? Kill him, kill him. Nice. Can we take, we take him down? It's very good. Okay. Oh, we also lost this bridge now, right? <laughs> the second we move on, of course, it's gonna happen eventually. I knew it. Let us scout for Gondo. Our guards. Okay. We need to get a strong army first before we're gonna call on Faramir, guys. That's very important because I believe we will get the chance to keep this army. Hold on a second. Okay, you guys need to move or we're gonna just summon the Rohirrim, I guess. That's gonna be the best thing we can do right now. You can just keep staying here in the porcupine formation or shield wolf formation it's called. You kill this ram and you guys keep moving on to eventually kill some more catapults. We guard the white tower. We guard the white tower. I mean, you need to guard a bit better, dudes, because you are kind of weak. I'm a bit disappointed from you guys, not gonna lie. We lost every single one of these. These units are strong though, these guards of the white tree. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's look for some more catapults. Here's another siege worker around this side. That's gonna be our main target. Okay. Tower guard. You guys got this area. Hopefully, five of you will be enough to save the day. We will need some more rangers. Look at these guys. They are so tanky. Let's use heal. Look, they are, they are one-shotting this roll too. Guys, these units, I'm telling you. They are shine. Look how many catapults he has. They are shining bright like a diamond. Okay, oh, we will out. need a little bit more archers, though. Come, Rangers. Look at them. Scout for Gondor. Suppress the the enemy. Enemy. Take cover, Just man. run over me. Get one shot at yourself. For the white city. Look at them. The the bridge is under Look at these tower guards, Gondor. dude. How strong Don't they are. I mean, these trolls have no leadership, but still. They are getting one shotted. And they are extremely Come tanky, Rangers. too. Rangers. I like them. I really do. They are gonna be my favorite unit. 
It's a swordsman at least, but wingers are gonna be unmatched. Look how tanky they are. They can sit there like a boss and tank for hours. Eventually they're gonna die, but it's fine. We are getting some reinforcements on the fields now. And remember, we can always revive them from the citadel. The eagle summon is ready. Come, rangers. This way. This way. Losing a level 2 unit, I don't mind, because we can always get a level 2 unit back in the business. All we gotta do is buy banners on them, and that's, that's enough, you know? Okay, now we have a strong army. Uh, we will eventually... Wait a second. Steady now. Watch your back. Okay, you guys, stop moving, please. We need to select two of them, or even three of them, actually, to, uh, to reclaim this bridge over there. Okay, we have five of you guys. Let's use the porcupine or shield wall formation to make them a bit tankier. And get a bit more arches. Ideally, we want to get our command points full before anything else. Then we're going to call on the Faramir, and that's going to give us the chance to extend the command points limit. I will show you guys what I mean in a bit. Hold on a second. Just protect this area, Rangers. That's all you got to do. Does he have catapults or something? I guess so, right? I don't know. I've seen them falling on the ground. That's not a good sign. Okay, they are back in the business. The tankiest units in field. the Gondo faction, at least. Can't confirm about the game, but in Gondo, they are extremely tanky. This way. As they're supposed to be. It's the protectors of the White Tree. Come, Rangers. Let us scout for Gondor. Let us scout for Gondor. Keep on lookout. Ambush formation. All right, you guys defend this area I now. And we are command points capped. That means finally we are able to call Faramir. Captain Faramir and his army have arrived. Prepare for battle. Prepare right for out. battle. Move out. I can the alert. banner for Gondor. All right. We must be vigilant. Now we have two of Quickly these units, by the way. Even though we were limited only on one of them, but be now alert. we managed to get two of them. So Knight. let's give Faramir Knight. the number one, Look for and Knight. the horses of knights, knights of Zolamroth, the, the number two, and we can just move on and eventually destroy everything. No! Keep hey guys, would you mind attacking this, please? Oh yeah. Men nice. of Men. Okay, so let's. Get this camp first. I believe he was not able to buy this camp. Yet. The strolls are annoying a little bit, not gonna lie. Let's use warning arrow with the right click. Oh, we lost all the arches here? But oh, that's unfortunate. I was not paying attention. Parami, don't die. Let's give them experience. Knights of the Silver Swan. For Gondor. All right, for Gondor. Of the Silver Swan. You guys you need to move around this side. You must be vigilant. Knights of the Silver Swan. Okay, knights, let's go. Captain, we have also eagles in the worst case scenarios. I'm not worried at all about this situation. We got this, guys. Trust me on that one. Ride out. Okay, let's kill the trolls. Let's use also this ability. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Knights. So I'm actually gonna use my knights or knight. I can't, I can't, I can't. Because we gotta kill all these catapults here first with the knights. Otherwise those catapults are gonna just kill everything from us. Which is gonna be not be very guard, nice, trust me. Let's kill this. Let's build a tower here and then double well for the sustain. And there we go. Those are the legendary katas. We need to call on the Rohirrim. I don't wanna lose my knights of Tolamroth. I'm willing to lose the summon throw hit him though because we can't keep them up on the field permanently anyway, right? So losing them doesn't really matter for us that much. Kill all the cut as you can. And we can go inside the jeans. Let's use heal here. There we go. And now you can, you can go inside. He has no more catapults left on the field, which is very good. Let's build also two towers here for the worst case scenario. And also Stoneworker. I will show you guys the power of the Stoneworker. From the gun door, which is going to increase our defense a lot. This is kind of useless to use. It doesn't give you any armor or damage. It gives you only mobility. Okay. Look how many orcs he's sending forward. Alright, we're in a good spot now. We just got we, we to kill the buildings with our uh, knights of Dolamroth. That's all we got to do. Men of Okay, let's kill. You guys can use this. Not that it matters against buildings, doesn't really do anything. But it's nice when you, when it comes to defend Minas Tirith later on. I'm actually excited about this one because I believe after this one we will get the chance to jump into the Minas Tirith, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare for battle. And also the damage output from these knights of Tolamroth against buildings isn't the greatest. 
but it's better than Ranger, so I'll take it. Okay, we have only one more camp to destroy. One enemy base remains. Say no more, my dude. And if you right click on an ability like that, Farami will always get the chance to shoot automatically whenever it's available to the next target. Okay, he's making a move, but this move shouldn't be too successful, I believe. Oh, look, Sharku is here. Oh, Let's use this ability. Oh, he's going down actually quite fast. I cannot count how many times we are able to kill Sharku. What is Sharku doing here anyway? Or there was maybe not Sharku. Sharku and Gothmog are looking pretty similar. But we already killed Gothmog once too. So, anyways, this is finished. We will now. Oh, we don't have the Silvertown arrows here. We have only the Nomonorian Stormwork, which is kind of useless. But it's fine. Now, after we got the. Uh, say it. The marketplace, you want to ideally build uh, farms because Grand Harvest is increasing your resource income from the farms by 40% while the other one, the Iron Ore, is increasing your resource income from the blacksmiths by 20% only. So you get double the value from the farms, that's why it's so nice to build them. Hit your targets, man! Alright, let's move on. I mean, in the worst case scenario, we have three summons ready. The Eagle Allies, the Elven Allies, and Fifthom Allies. So we are good to go. We mustn't let them as long as there's no catapults, it should be not Hold a big deal. Men of Dorlamo. Dorlamo. You, you need to the use enemy. the Porcupine Lances. Formation to become a bit right more tanky. Out. The Drama Troll is going down like it's nothing. Just summon the re reinforcements. I mean, that's the Rally good part about the, the good factions in this game and the weakness of the evil factions. Rally Unlike in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King, uh, the evil factions here in BFME 1, they don't have many summons, you know? And Gondor Lances. especially, in a one-on-one -on -one situation in the very late game, is unmatched because we have so many powerful summons. We are talking about Rohirrim, Elves, Eagles, and even the Army of the Dead. Which is just very, very strong. You know, you are you have an answer to everything. The Eagle Summon is the best uh, non-ultimate summon. With non-ultimate, I mean everything besides Army of the Dead or the Balrog Summon. Knights. Eagle is the best, dealing crazy amount of damage to heroes. You can burst down heroes in a couple of seconds, really. You are mobile. You can attack buildings. You can attack units. You can deal incredible amount of damage. The only weakness is, of course, the archers. But also, these units are the only ones that can actually deal damage to the eagles. So, if your opponent doesn't have enough damage leadership or doesn't have enough archers, your eagles eagles are gonna be your win condition. GG well played. Osgiliath is defended. Victory is ours. The heroes of Middle Earth are victorious. Victorious as always, guys. Look them orcs fall. And remember what Gothmog was saying at the beginning of the video. He was like, the day of man is over, the day of the orcs has come, and... You know, are you sure about that? But there comes uh, the real army. So, I mean, of course that has to happen, because if this is not gonna happen, uh, there is gonna not be a battle on uh, Minas Tirith. So let me see if uh, Giant Eagle... Boss Ranger is still leading. 195 units killed in total. Hopefully we will be able to keep him alive until the end of the campaign. Would be awesome. And I believe now, next one is going to be Minas Tirith, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, no. It's going to be Shilov Slayer. Uh, we need to save Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee. Or F Samwise Gamgee has to save Frodo one more time. Because let's be real, guys. I believe without Sam... Frodo wouldn't be even able to leave the Shire, you know what I'm saying? Not even mentioning to go to the Mount Tomb and destroy the One Ring. Because Sam is the real hero, he will always be my real hero of the Hobbit. He's the best Hobbit by far. After Peregrine took, of course. Because he was always making Gandalf angry. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Shilob's Lair is gonna be the next mission in the good campaign, hard good campaign for the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1. And after this one... You know what's gonna happen, it's gonna be Minas Tirith. If you don't wanna miss this amazing Minas Tirith video coming next for you, please make sure to be, to be subscribed to the channel. If you wanna do me a favor, make sure to leave a like on this video. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a track, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.